Hey friend, today I wanna to show you three really simple ways to view many different Bible translations all in one glance right here on your phone. It's so easy and it also will 100% change the way that you do your Bible study. This is gonna be fun. All right, so I'm gonna show you my favorite three apps, all of which are free. They're available on iOS for Apple. They're also available on Android for those other phones. I will be using an Apple phone for this. So this is the Apple layout, but I would assume they're probably relatively similar if you have a different kind of phone. Now I'm gonna go from my least favorite to my very favorite, and I'm gonna give you reasons that I use all three, the good and the bad. Let's go. Number one, my least favorite of my favorite apps for using a parallel Bible where you can see many different translations at once is the good old Blue Letter Bible. Now, this is what Blue Letter Bible app looks like. It is where I do my word study for the most part. If I'm gonna do any deep digging using Strong's Concordance, typically I'm gonna use Blue Letter Bible. So let's open her up. I have it open to Hebrews 12. Let's pretend we're gonna go somewhere else. I'm gonna hit Hebrews 12. It's gonna pull up all of the books of the Bible in the New Testament. I can hit Old Testament to see the Old Testament. Let's do Amos. We don't talk enough about Amos. We'll do chapter four and we'll do verse number three. Do you see where the verses are lit up in blue? I'm going to tap on verse three, that little blue three. Now, this is pulling up a lot of different things I can do. I'm only worried about this Bible comparison. I'm going to tap Bible comparison. It is gonna pull up for me many of the popular translations available. Why I love this? Well, it's very convenient if I'm in perusing and doing a word study to come in here and just the two clicks of a button be right here seeing other translations. What I don't like about it is these aren't my favorite. I can't put them in the order that I wanna put them. It doesn't make me feel great looking at it. You know, it's a little messy. Blue Letter Bible is a little cluttery. It's a little messy. This is my least favorite, favorite app to do this on. Now let's head to an app that is close to my heart, my beloved version. So let's tap on this. This is my daily go-to Bible app. It is beautiful. It is simple. I love it so much. I am all about minimal and this app is minimal. So if I'm going to be daily in the Bible, this is probably the app that I am using. And if I want to look up and compare, it's so easy and it's so beautiful. So let's do it. So I've got um, Isaiah 40 pulled up here. Let's just see how this looks. Let's, let's go somewhere else in the Bible just so that you can see how easy that is. Um, oh, let's go to Habakkuk. Good old Habakkuk. Much more sorrowful than one might think. Have you read Habakkuk yet? I, I recommend it. So let's go to verse six. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna tap on the words of verse six. It's going to underline it. Then it's gonna pop up a menu. There's several different things we can do. But what we'll note is we wanna hit compare. Right now, all you see is NIV. That's because I deleted all of mine to show you how to set it up. You'll see at the very bottom of the screen, we have add a version. New version is so good. They have all of my recently used translations already up at the top. So I'm gonna start adding them in the order that I like them. So I like ESV, I like Amplified, I like the message, and I don't know why it's not bringing up NLT as one of my favorites, because it is. So I'm gonna hit NLT. Now I'm gonna close this up at the top left so that we can bring it back up again. So I'm going to click on verse six. I'm going to click on compare. Now look, it always sticks. If you are signed into the app, it is free, sign up, get an account, and then it will remember this stuff for you. So it is bringing up all of my favorite translations right here, so simply, so beautifully. 
but hmm, I want NLT not to be at the bottom. I like the message at the very bottom. I use the message more like a commentary than I do an actual translation, but I, I like to have it there. I need to change the way these are ordered. I'm going to click edit right up at the top right hand corner. And now you'll see that you've got the three lines that I can press and hold, and then it's gonna pop up. And then all I do is move it to there. And actually I'm gonna move it above Amplified. That's typically what my preference is. I'm gonna click Done. I'm gonna click Close. And let's just go down to verse 12. I'm gonna hit the verses, hit Compare, and then voila. Now they're in the correct order and it's just lovely. So if we go down here and I wanna look at the next verse, I can click Next Verse. I can go backward and forward. It is a dream. What is the very last one, my very favorite, although I do love you version, but it is a little app that actually I have recently found called Parallel Plus. When you download the free app, it is so simple. It, it basically, once you download it, it's gonna look very similar to this. Right off the bat, what I'm gonna do is I've got my phone, I always get this mixed up. Vertical, horizontal, horizon, vertical, standing up straight. Yes, vertical. When I have my phone vertical, I can only see two versions. If I flip my phone sideways, all of a sudden I can see five. That's wonderful. Let's take just a look at why I love this so much, but I love it for a very specific reason. I use this for deep Bible study, mainly when I want to look at a chapter of the Bible, not simply a verse, but I, I need a bigger picture because I can see more of the verses all at once. And all I have to do is scroll and they're just all right there. I don't have to keep clicking in and out like I do for you version. This one is all right here to behold. This app is really simple to use. If we want to go to somewhere else in the Bible, let's say we want to go to 1 Thessalonians chapter three, verse one, and we're gonna click go. And that brings us right there. Let's say we decide we want to do chapter four. We are just going to swipe left and we're there. If we want to go back, we just swipe right and we're back. I hope you found this helpful. I would love to know which Bible app you use to compare different translations, why you like it, what's the benefit. I love talking all things Bible. If we're meeting for the first time and you want to do a little more Bible stuff with me, we actually have a series going on right now, and it's all about verse mapping. And I think if you like this, you're really gonna like that. And so you can check out part one here. I hope you'll subscribe and stick around. If not, I hope you found this helpful. See you maybe, maybe next week. Bye friends.